looking for the right stitch so there's these ones and then there's this one I'd say about four or five centimeters wide. Um, the patient was unfortunately voluntarily slit both wrists. One wrist is going to be dealt with in the plastic surgery department because you can see the tendons and things. The other one I did suturing with an AMP. Um, I think we use Epits, Ep Epilon or Proline. Hopefully, I'll put the name down below. Then we put steroid strips over. We used one dissolvable suture underneath the skin to bring it together because it was very wide as well. And then we use, I think, seven sutures across, equally distributed. And then they're supposed to go to their <clears throat> GP in eight days for it to be removed, for them to be removed. And I put them in for an appointment with plastics tomorrow to fix the other laceration on the other hand um, so yeah it was pretty interesting oh my gosh it was scary because like one you don't hurt the patient and two it's like your hands are shaky and stuff and obviously i'm not really in a surgical rotation so it's something which i haven't done for a long time but yeah i'm glad that i had a very good team and i'm also glad that i had a very supportive amp and the reg came in later on she saw me put my last stitch in and yeah, it was quite fun. We also gave them lidocaine um, inside the inside the site and around it as well. Um, cleaned the room with saline irrigation, and we gave them some antibiotics as well for prophylactic um, a prophylactic course um, and a tetanus boost. Uh, I don't know today. I don't know. It's just been a very draining and exhausting day um, a patient's blood and things and everything's taken long to get done so it's stretching out the day hence why I had my lunch break so late I only had my break half an hour ago which would be 7.30 and I started at 1 so I've been going and going and going and going um, but yeah today this is a day when I'm just like oh, I wish I was had a day off to be honest but it comes with the territory it's not going to be perfect every single day um i had to refer a patient to medics with a very high ph of like 7.5 sorry like 7.7 .7 or something like that which we thought wasn't very possible and then we did it again um lactate is quite high they have a background of alcoholic excess um and their creatinine is very high like in the 400s egfr has gone down to 17 i can't see a baseline but i suspect that their heart i mean i suspect that their kidney function was way better than it appears to be today um, and they've had fluids and their potassium is like 2.4 or something and it's erratic blood um and they're having um, alcohol withdrawal symptoms and things it's just it was a long day and it needs to be catheterized so ah, it's just been a long day and then I'm sorting out another patient who has come in with abdominal pain and uh, nausea and vomiting some blood in the stools um, recent ear infection um, they're female so they're been checked for pregnancy and that's negative their urine dips clear as well um, it looks like they probably have a new a new newly diagnosed colitis coming in i'm not quite sure why yet but we'll look into that i wonder if it might be linked to the antibiotic who knows however they did come in with gastroenteritis a few months ago so maybe that was the first episode of a long-term inflammation of the colon or something um, but yeah, they're quite young. They're only like 25 or so. Um, so yeah, it's been a long day. I'm looking forward to the end of the day, to be honest. I just cannot wait for it to be over. Um, right now, I've got about an hour and a half left 
um, before it's the end of my shift and then I can go home, get some food. I even like had a, a, during my lunch break, I just was so, my mind wasn't focused enough to even enjoy my food so I had to just throw away most of the food even though I need the energy because I haven't eaten anything since, yeah, yesterday. So don't do that, y'all. Make sure you eat, make sure you eat your lunch and stuff. But yeah, today I'm just like, oh, this is a long day. I just cannot wait to go home, to be honest. You know them ones where you just, you have them days where it's like not going the way you want it to go and it just feels like that day today. I was really pumped yesterday, but today I'm just like, oh, I just want to go home now. So hopefully... I'll be done soon um, and the patience will remain stable. Just a bit of encouragement. Some days you have bad days, but there's always another day to follow where you can start afresh. It's bank holiday and I'm just knackered already. Haven't even started. I've already decided what I'm going to eat for lunch today. I'm going to go to a kebab shop a few minutes away from my hospital and get some chips. And that should make the day nice, we hope. Uh, so I'm on my way to work now. Um, I managed to hand uh, over a patient for discharge, a 21 year old female that's coming with a background of eating disorder and anorexia nervosa. Um, and they were having some seizures whilst they were being given some feed. Um, they have a background of pseudo seizures, non epileptic seizures, and um, generally um, some uh, personality disorder as well. Uh, did bloods on them, bloods are absolutely fine, lactate was fine at 1.3, um, the potassium was 3.5, sodium was normal around 1.4, 1.4 I think it was, um, so they're being discharged with safety netting, and they're actually currently under section 3 in one of the uh, um, mental health hospitals, um, but they normally have a break on the weekend, so they'll be going home and then back on Monday because um, they have the severe um, uh, anorexia. So that's basically all for now. I've just finished having my kebab, which is actually quite nice and delicious, um, surprisingly. Um, now to go back to probably see another patient and then that will be the end of my shift. Today I'm doing the one to 10 shift as I've been doing all this week and last week as well. Um, but next week I'll be going on tonight. Like, comment, subscribe below.